More viewers call for the immediate resignation of Javita Carranza, head of SBA. But in the same regard, is her office starting to help viewers of this channel get their loans approved? Boy, this is a bombshell of bombshells for Friday. Hope you are good and safe and well. Happy weekend. This is L8. As always, like and subscribe to this channel and drop your comments below, and we may feature them in tomorrow's recording. And please hit that bell on the front of this channel so you get an alert when a senator from Kentucky says he has no economic data to give you a stimulus check. And shortly we'll be getting to all 147 comments calling for Jubita Carranza's resignation that follow 500 comments the day before. And Thereafter, at the 10 minute mark, we're going to be getting to a shocking twist about how her office is perhaps now helping viewers get their loans approved after we also call for her resignation. Oh boy, do you feel that heat? It's not the summer weather, it's something else. E.H. Carranza does seem like she's hiding something. She allowed Planned Parenthood to take a loan of $80, billion, $80 million, but about withholding our money grant from small businesses? Yes. Political Lil, it's Experian co conspirators in this mess. You know, I want to know if Experian got any money for having all these hard polls. And who's doing these hard polls? And were the hard poll companies getting paid to do these hard polls? It's sort of like it's a subcontractor that wants to do a hard poll and get a, get a processing fee any, as often as they can. If anyone knows, drop in the comments below. Phil Derrick, she may be hoarding all this money instead of giving to small businesses. Uh, this virus is a screen name. I apply in a 401, no grant. I've reached in Tim Shane, uh, Cruz Schumacher, Tim Kane's office made contact with me. No grant yet. Please watch our EIDL loan video, which I'll drop in the links above. People need to contact their senators. You need to watch the video. It's the most critical video you will see this month from this channel about the loan. Joni, you make my day when you, I get a notification from you. Please someone hire someone to speak on behalf of them. You're such a great man. Cheers from South Carolina. If you love Sarah Carolina, which I do, please watch our first broadcast of LA Law. LA Late. I can't even say my own. I can't even say the name of the company today. I'm so tired. LA Late Live, uh, in which we speak directly with a viewer from South Carolina. Uh, Russ Kitchen, thank you for your channel as rocks as always. A sole proprietorship, they did multiple hard checks on my credit, sank in 100 points, and then got a denial. I would do reconsideration. I would watch our loan video today. I want you to get approved. Barbara LLA, you rock. I, you know it's true. Thank you for being honest. We love you. Thank you. Ken C. So many people, no grant, no loan. It's changing. It's changing. Watch the loan video today. I'm not giving you sugar coating. I'm not giving you false promises. I'm not pitching you snake oil like other channels. I'm giving you the truth of what's happened the last eight hours. It is so promising about loans. I've never seen it, but I'm staying to the 10 minute mark because I'm going to tell you it again. The Crazy Dane froze my credit score right after SBA pulled my credit. Um, just wired my credit, didn't drop a single point. LA, love your channel, keep up the hard work. By the way, still waiting on my portal invite. So need to watch the 10 minute mark and I'll tell you why. Jeff Hansen, thank you LA. Thank you for supporting this, Jeff Han uh, just this, this cha channel, Jeff. And thank you for the other viewers who have supported this channel in the last few days. Your advice is gold and your shirt's extreme grooviness. How am I doing today? How's the shirt? It's, it's maybe blending in the backdrop. backdrop. Sweet wraps Western gifts. LA, your office, and love your videos. Um, have anyone received a dialogue back from letters to Cruz or Rubio? Just curious. Yes. Viewers who are in Florida have gotten help from Cruz. Uh, I have not heard, excuse me, Rubio. I have not heard anyone say that they've gotten their loan approved because they've reached out to Cruz, but I've also heard and I've given this advice now, which is a total chain from two days ago, and I said it in the loan video earlier today. If you are not a resident of Florida, your business is not in Florida, don't reach out to Cruz, uh, to Rubio, because he's now saying he doesn't want to help you, or he can't help you, or he doesn't want to help you, what, however you want to call that. I call it doesn't want to help you. Uh, I mean, it's his damn committee. Come on already. Mimi McSwain, I got an awful alert three minutes ago. They locked my husband's credit score, but six times... Uh, they did a six times a credit hard poll. Wow. Rich Nostro perfectly said, thank you. Film Factory was on the phone with SBA today. He was told to keep a lookout for my uh, loan. Additional money, first come, first serve basis. Yeah, right. Uh, I was able to get a $1,000 grant. Oh, I was able to get an extra $1,000 over the initial grant they sent me. Uh, here comes a bombshell at six minutes into this video. So this viewer says he was just given an extra $1,000 grant on top of the previous grant. Does this explain why? I don't know. D. Hoonan. Um, 
I was funded three weeks ago. I received another loan, another approval. What are they doing? The weird thing is the second approval was for more than the first approval. <laughs> So this viewer is fully funded for his first loan and got another loan process offer for the same business. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> EH, here's the email address to write the SBA um, for reconsideration. Space New Frontier. So they're doing hard credit polls. Yes, they're doing six to eight. Um, Rich Nostro got my loan today, but they sure did a hard, soft and hard poll. Knocked it down by 53 points. I mean, 53 points is sort of the average viewers of this channel are getting hit by 100 to 120 drop point drops on their Experian credit scores because Jovita Carranza has done six to 12 hard credit polls. It's truly reprehensible. Kathy Tinnell, she should answer in what she has done. She doesn't answer questions. Mark Evans, I'm excited what the EI deal will open up. I missed the first time. Good. Well, thank you for joining our channel, Mark. Please subscribe and like the, the videos. Andrew, I'm a real estate agent. And the SBA has been trained not to consider us as business owners. Very well said. Philip Morris, SBA ruined my credit, ruined my life. Awful. Auntie Vale, update. I got an email uh, with a link to update my info for the grant tonight. I was denied the, in the reconsideration, waiting for this decision. I will let you know. So she followed the advice of this channel. She was denied the loan, filed a reconsideration. In the, asking for the reconsideration, reconsideration, she asked for her grant money. She's now getting the grant money. Muji, privacy consent form. Yeah, we did a video yesterday about privacy consent form from Rubio's office, if you need to do that. Uh, so let me get to the shocking twist. And boy, I mean, I didn't think I would be reporting this, but here we go. Javita Carranza, who has been the subject of this channel for two, well, <laughs> more than two days, but it really heated up in the last two days, uh, sat before a congressional subcommittee on the House uh, for SBA with Marco Rubio as the head several days ago. She was really interrogated by two members of the Senate and a third, while the rest of them wanted to basically knit her a quilt. Um, one of them called for a DJ, DOG investigation of her office for her failure to answer very simple questions. We ran a video about that congressional hearing, and it was a blockbuster. Viewers were totally irate with her. We then wrote a video, did a video calling for her resignation that, that brought in, I think it was about 500 comments all calling for her resignation and thousands and thousands of views. We followed up yesterday with another video that, had, that, that is the subject of today's recording that had the same response. But on the other side, some of the viewers who also wanted her fired contacted her by email saying, where's my darn loan money? I just love it. I mean, some of those viewers have balls like you can't imagine. They want her fired and tarred and feathered, but they also emailed her and said, where's my loan money? That is some balls. Well, guess what? Those balls weren't because those viewers have now been approved for loans. If you have not, you need to watch our EIDL loan video from earlier today in which the viewers, in which I report that viewers in the last 48 hours did different things. The vast majority contacted their senators. By contacting the senators, they got their loans approved. How that worked, you need to watch the video. But some other viewers also in private, you won't see them in the comments particularly of this channel. They have told me in private um, through social media and, and DMs and IG and things like that, that they actually emailed Javita Carranza directly in the last 24 hours or last 48 hours based upon the videos calling for her resignation. And guess what? Their loans were approved. So there was one viewer in, in particular who I believe is from Hawaii, who sent out an email, who spoke to an SBA representative after watching Quran to testify and say that all loans would be processed in the next seven days, called SBA, and that representative tier two says, your, law, your application is basically in a stagnant mode and I can't get it out of that. I've never heard language like that since this channel launched since April 25th. They were basically saying that there was something mechanically wrong with the application that was stuck and couldn't move and that that person said that they were going to reach out to Javita Carranza directly. Well, the viewer of this channel did the same and 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 contacted her and also contacted uh, 
that that other representative guess what the application was approved so viewers of this channel have been reaching out to Javita Carranza by email and have been posting her email address in the comments below don't send me 5,000 comments asking me for the email address just post it below and other viewers will be happy to help you I am not indicating to you what you should say or how you should say it and but I am saying to always be respectful because she is a political official and I don't want to get in trouble thank you <laughs> Um, but she's getting loans approved. So for those of you who are gone and for those who want your loans approved and have done it in the same breath, God bless you. And boy, but please watch that loan video because that's ultimately how loans are getting approved. More so than reaching her office by email address. Parker Jacobson, um, great shirt. That being said, here's a great idea. Can you start a major movement on your channel called the SBA Federal Credit Score Reversal Act? Yeah, I mean, I wish I knew a lot more about credit checks. It almost seems unlawful to do multiple hard credit polls and ruin people's credit scores. Um, I, I don't know what the rules are about it, but boy, this whole credit score scandal part of this of this story is like an entire channel unto itself. And I hate to always feel like I'm forgetting it because I'm not. But boy, it is it is a big, big issue. And we, I mean, maybe I should just be dedicating an entire segment of this channel just to the credit scores. Uh, Cruz want to love the red shirt. Wuhan, for the person who asked about the email reconsideration, Ivan Jahel, I have a direct number to a loan officer. Anyone want it? <laughs> Okay, if anyone has direct loan offers or phone numbers, drop them in the comments below and share and like. I mean, it's a potluck of, of help. You know, instead of bringing the chicken and the casserole, we're bringing contact information and email addresses and phone numbers. I mean, you know, they're paid for, they're paid by our taxes. It's, it's a public phone number. It's not like it's a private enlisted number. John McDowell, love your show. When do you sleep? I never sleep. <laughs> Uh, this is a huge ripoff by the SBA. I received my loan. They never got grant. Loan documents show the entire loan portal. No, nothing, zero. The law says $10,000 forgiven. So, John, if that me if you're saying that you got a loan offer of zero, that is a technical, that's a computer glitch. You need to contact SBA. Just ask them where is your loan offer. That is a technical glitch. Um, but you need to watch our loan video today because that will tell you how to get your loan approved in 24 hours. Hopefully. Uh, Bob Leroy, I got an email today detailing the loan agreement to sign, and so did one of my friends. Congratulations, Robert Hanskin. Sent a link to the Fire the Itch video to Channel 9 Chattanooga, a Fox affiliate. Yes, get me on the local news. Get me on the local news if you're tuning in. I haven't been tooting my horn enough. Maybe I should. Uh, book me on the local news and national news. I will speak on your behalf. James, they're denying a lot of people saying they did not have economic injury. Uh, you know, it is a baseless matter, and I want you to do reconsideration if that happened to you. Buy and sell Tucson stores. Uh, I love your channel. I'm not sure how to go about this. Um, I never closed down my gym legally, but now we only have a few pieces of equipment left. How can we apply for the EIDL portal in hopes of buying back the equipment that was sold? <clears throat> I have two businesses. I own a small business. So if you have another business, um, and that was the topic of videos today, and it's going to be a topic of videos to come. If you have other businesses that were impacted by COVID-19, you want to apply when the new EIDL loan portal opens next week, you can. Uh, you just need to go through that process, and it's the same process as well. Stay with us. We'll detail that for you. <laughs> Along with everything else we have to do. And DF, I've never gotten a dime from these crooks. Um, denial the grant, denial the loan. All they gave me is a black eye from crashing my credit score. Um, they're real crooks above the phonies. You need to watch our loan video and contact your senators. They are moving in. They are moving in incredible hope. I hope you have a good senator. I really do. Annie and Mimi Meaton. Hey, I've been watching videos for three weeks. Thank you for your hard work. I was constantly calling SBA called a gazillion times. Finally got a hold of someone who's educated enough. So basically, I have, so voila, I got an offer of $20,000 and accepted and signed to receive the money. Oh, so she finally got her money because of this channel. Wonderful. So basically, I had two applications on the tab on the right. The portal said change of businesses. Uh, saved me. No one was able to explain the issue with my application, even though SBA said that duplicate application had been approved. Bold. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, thank you. Don't leave us. Stay with us for more. Don't leave us now. Uh, Trace, Trace uh, Stacy, 
Thank you. I've been watching since the first video. Applied for one. Sign my loan documents today. However, my credit took. I have two credit co cards. Lower my limits by three thousand. Um, so if any of the followers' credit scores have been lowered, do what LLA Theory says and call them. I'm tired of people taking credit. So another video, a comment about credit score. Yes, if you have, if you've been hit by Experian credit polls by by Javita Carranza, call Experian, call the telephone number, and go on the online portal of Experian and dispute the hard credit polls. They will take them off. They will absolutely take them off. And I think we're probably gonna have to do a whole video about that again. Mike Hitchison, right? LLA. I'm 330 for Vortex. I'm contacting my House of Representatives. Contact your center as well. McKelly, hey, great video. Thank you. Jen, I'm writing a reconsideration letter. I'm so confused how to provide my numbers. Uh, you don't need to do calculations per se. Just plead your case. Paul, um, I want the rest of my grant money. Oh my God. We have, that is like the, lo, lo, the least thing that's likely to get approved at the moment. Uh, Amy Watson funded 6-4. Wow. Watton. I'm a realtor. No advance a week later. Now in advance a week later. I did call 6-10 and not requested, not only requested the $1,000 for the full $10,000. Stay with it. Keep me updated. Tara Mount, your awesome video. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. Rich Noso, well said, uh, Ellie. Thank you for supporting this channel, Rich. Desert Barb. Thank Thank you for all that you did. So I know what she's going to say because I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to spoil it. Wrote my senator, Jeff Merkley, in Oregon today with all the info. I didn't call anyone S, at SBA. Tried several times. Unbelievable considering I started this process April 2nd. Oh, she doesn't add it there. So she sent me a private message elsewhere and she got her loan approved she, uh, because of our advice to call the senator. Senator Jeff Merkley in or Oregon as the wind picks up. So thank you, Senator. Chim Aiken, she should have resigned. Yes. Um, Sharon has contacted congressmen in a lot of uh, Georgia. Uh, hopefully next week I will get my money. I received $2,000 grant, $3,000 PPP loan. Agree to accept an EIDL loan of $24,900 on June 4th. So another of you got that money because of the advice of this channel and contacting her senators. Wow. Um, Eric, did you notice they changed the menu when you called the SBA? <laughs> yes, it's now fried chicken uh, and burnt meat. Uh, Leon Tammer, great work because you're suggesting I contact my email, my congressman. Got the loan approved, but this approval, but we'll call you today to ask for the $10,000 grant. Wow, I mean, just, it's just happening left and right. It's incredible. You are a statesman, sir. James Patton, well, thank you. Uh, Dinsley, what about people that declined but received a one thousand dollar grant? Why begin the remainder nine thousand dollars? No, not yet, not yet. And please, the, the people are telling you you're going to get it. You're not going to get it just yet. So please don't believe them. Um, Austin got a loan offer this morning. Called SBA about the grant. What should I do? But it said I if I decline the loan offer, I will still get the grant sometime in the future. What should I do? Um, if you want the loan, accept it. I mean, if you want twenty four thousand nine hundred and not be collateralized, accept it. And if you change your mind, you can give it back. Uh, what's the difference does it make? I'm requesting more money after accepting the loan offer. I don't care if this is insane. They told me not to accept the loan offer first. <laughs> Do what you want. Kathy, um, they're bad with the calculations. Very true. Uh, accept the loan offer, 19000 no grant money. You need to call SB, ask them where is your grant money and how are you receiving it and when you're receiving it. Curious Juan, she flat out lied. She said she was directing those who had been denied or what else. Very well said. Tahir Ali, I only applied on for grant and I got a $1,000 grant on May 22nd. And they did a hard pull for the grant. I don't know why. And then they denied my loan. Uh, so if you want the loan, you need to do a reconsideration. If you don't need the loan, then, then you're done. Jean Crom, how dare her, Carranza. She still walks in our shoes, much less lying. Thank you, as always, LA, for fighting for us. You're my hero. Calling on everyone I can, ha I can have to remove Jesus. Very well said. Thank you. Glenda. Um, received $1,000 grant, no loan. You need to watch our loan video. It'll come to you. Camara, I applied 330-324. Um, we're only accepting agricultural business. Why did I not get that email? Yes, May is agricultural applications only. You can apply next week and stay with us. Uh, after those two women's are gone, make sure they... Uh, Max, 
Maxana wants wants new people is there as well at the, at the SBA. Parker Johns Jacobson, LA. Would it make sense to push this to a presidential level at this point and get Trump involved? Um, you know, possibly. Uh, I think Mnuchin might be interested. <laughs> he was there. Steve Sumro. I got this email message to Twitter. Uh, I sent it to 20 more governors, and then Twitter got upset. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. sorry. Um, if you have questions or comments or rants or raves to today's video, which I know you do, drop them in the comments below but before 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we may answer them tomorrow's recording. We have four videos on EIDL today. This one, EIDL Loan, EIDL Grant, and a LA Late Live recording. As always, stay of LA for more.